Today I'm going to show you how to make a metal armature or frame for a needle felted doll like this one. The frame allows her to bend her legs and unbend so she can hold different positions. I'm using 16 gauge copper wire at home and I'm going to show you how to do it with five pipe cleaners to make it easier. Here's what our pipe cleaner armature looks like. I have five pipe cleaners. You can use any colors at home, but if you want to follow exactly and it helps you, you can use what I'm using. Blue, purple, green, orange, and yellow. The first step is to take the blue pipe cleaner and make a headspace. So we're going to fold it about halfway down and then crisscross the ends and twist three times. Next step is take the head that you already made, take another pipe cleaner, overlap them a little bit, half an inch or an inch, and twist three times, or four times, or five times. Very flexible. The next step after that is to do the same thing on the other side. I have my purple and my blue, they're overlapping about an inch, and I twist as many times as I need to tuck the loose ends. So I've got three pipe cleaners assembled so far and I'm going to take the two that I just tied to the blue part and I'm going to cross them over and twist them again three times. It's fine. Now I have a space for a head, a space for a torso, and some legs. It does not have to be exactly proportionate. It's very flexible. You can undo it later if you want, but the wool just needs a frame to go around. Now I'm going to overlap the orange and yellow pipe cleaners about two or three inches in an X and twist the loose ends so that I end up with one really long pipe cleaner. I'm going to secure this one really long arm to the rest of the frame that we just made. So I take the arm, I fold it in half, I position the middle of the arm right at the neck, and I cross the arms over once, and flip the body around, cross the arms over twice. You can do this a number of ways. Now I have the frame with really long arms and legs. In the next video, I'll show you how to shorten the arms if you want. To shorten the arms, make a loop at the end, like so. Twist to secure the loose end. Repeat the same with the other side. Make a loop and twist. And you can do that to any length that you want. You can also do that with the feet if you want, but I like the size of this frame right now, so I'm gonna keep it exactly as it is. Thanks for watching.